Hello, I'd like to introduce you to a project called High Seas. This NASA-funded project is designed to test food preparation strategies for long-term space exploration. To find the best ways for long-haul astronauts to eat, researchers at Cornell University and the University of Hawaii have designed a food study to take place within a four-month simulated Mars mission. The researchers selected a crew of six highly qualified individuals with various scientific backgrounds to participate. The crew will live and work as astronauts in a simulated Mars habitat, conducting their own personal research as well as participating in the food study. In essence, the High Seas Project will compare two types of food and food preparation strategies. The first approach is similar to the ones astronauts on the space station use right now, eating pre-prepared, just-add-water-and-heat meals. These meals include oatmeal, soups, chili, and beef stroganoff, just for example. Pre-prepared meals like these are easy to make, eat, and clean up. The second approach is similar to traditional earthbound cooking. It's the way explorers used to cook and eat back in the 19th century. Since astronauts on Mars would have gravity, they will be able to mix shelf-stable ingredients and cook from recipes. They could even make bread, egg dishes, and sushi. Meals like these are more complex than pre-prepared foods. They require more equipment, time and energy to prepare, and more water for cleanup. But they could help fight food boredom, which leads to astronauts eating fewer calories over time and possibly becoming malnourished. It's possible that astronauts or our crew could favor one approach over another, or they could favor a mixture of food preparation strategies. It's also possible that one approach to food or a combination of strategies might lead to higher morale, improved productivity, better health, and more crew cohesion. The High Seas Study aims to find out.